This is Travis with Heggy Manufacturing. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Raven Industries Viper 4 Field Computer. This video will give a brief overview of the Viper 4 and its functionality in a Heggy sprayer. Let's get started. After powering the Viper 4 up, I have a number of different tabs on the home screen. The top one saying Administrator. If I select Administrator, I get a number of different administrative options, including to power off the display, log in and out of user profiles, make selections and changes to user profiles, system manager, and file manager. We will look at user profile, system manager, and file manager. First, user profile. The user profile contains information that is generated on top of all of my reports. So if I have any information, such as my applicator name, number, or my name, last name, operator license number, etc., this is where I enter that information so it's included in my reports. Under the System Manager tab is where I perform Viper 4 updates. Um, so any software updates to the Viper 4 itself are done in this first tab. Second tab is where I'll do any node or hardware updates. Third tab will be any feature unlocks I have, such as variable rate. And then the last ta couple tabs uh, have associations with slingshot field hubs if those are installed on the machine as well. File manager is the last tab here in the administrator. Here I can see all of my different files. Um, this is where I can go to export files. By moving them to the right hand side I'm then able to export um, through the export button to my USB drive. The second tab is where I can do any importing of field boundaries, maps, prescription maps, anything like that. And then the third tab at the top here has to do with slingshot file transfer if I were to have one of those installed on my sprayer. The next group we'll talk about is the settings group. Uh, by tapping on the gear here to the left of the picture of the machine, I will get taken into settings. These are where all of my application control settings take place. Notable ones on this page would be AccuBoom. AccuBoom is my automatic section control through Raven. Um, I can enable, disable AccuBoom as well as uh, set my turn off and turn on look aheads down at the bottom of the page. Speed settings is another setting on this page. Um, we can pick from wheel, radar, or GPS speed. Most commonly, uh, customers are running on GPS speed through the Viper 4. And then we have CAN system. The CAN system lists, lists all of the devices um, on the CAN system. Um, I can also redetect, refresh, or reset CAN devices using the buttons on the bottom of the screen. If I swipe over, I uh, continue my settings menu. Here I have GPS. In this case, I have an integrated GPS in this Viper 4. Um, this is also where I would see an external GPS receiver, such as uh, Raven 600S or any other smart GPS receiver I tie into this system. Next page over, I have product control. Um, product control is probably the most important thing in a sprayer, so we'll talk about this one a little bit or a little bit more in depth. Um, on this first page, I have my tank capacity as well as my tank level and rate bump. The next tab, I have my valve control settings. Most commonly for Heggy machines uh, or anything recent Heggy machines will have a PWM valve type with a valve cal most commonly of 43. If I tap on the gears to the left of PWM settings, I can set my min, max, and preset PWM. On Heggy machines, my PWM frequency will always be 122. Minimum PWM is the minimum amount I want the system to drive the valve. Um, this is also known as kind of a valve deadband, is another way to think of it. Um, oftentimes, this value is close to 60. Um, from the factory, it will be defaulted to 60. Preset PWM is the value I'd like the pump to hold when my master spray is off. So this is the pressure or the standby that I'm holding as I turn around on my headlamps. And then the maximum PWM is the maximum value I would like that pump to, uh, to generate. So 190 is where we would set that from the factory. Um, all of the PWM values are between 0 and 253 and can be adjusted accordingly. The third tab at the top here has my flow meter calibration number. Um, most commonly for Raven, 
and anything 2015 and newer using the AirAg flow meter on Hagi machines. Um, we'll have a flow meter cal of 3,780 pulses per 10 gallons. That is one thing to know. Raven always does flow meter calibrations in pulses per 10 gallons. Next tab at the top I have is my pressure sensor. Um, 2016 and newer Hagi machines have a pressure sensor tied in from the factory. Um, I can set a low limit pressure or a standby pressure. So low limit will be a pressure that the um, rate controller will work to keep the system from ever going below. And standby pressure is again that pressure when I have my master spray off, all my sections are off and I'm turning around on my headlands. Next tab I have section settings. Here I can turn on or off different sections. Um, if I were to turn a section off, such as I turn section one off here, the number will no longer be present in the box. Thus that section cannot be turned on um, or controlled through the rate controller. So it's very important to have all of your sections have the displayed numbers in them. The last tab I have at the top here is my low tank level alarm, um, low flow limit alarm in gallons per minute, as well as um, percent off rate and dual flow alarms. You can also see I have a smart track setting here. This video will not get into the smart track system or smart track settings. If I was going to start a field, I would tap on the tractor icon there in the bottom right hand corner. It will bring up my field um, settings or start job page. You can see in the top right I have my products selected here as water. If I were to select that tank, I can get other product configurations that I'm already made or I can hit that blue plus on the left hand side to create a new product mix. Water is what I'm going to be applying today, so I will go ahead and hit my tractor again, except that my product is water there in the top right hand corner, and then select start job. I don't have any GPS, I am uh, currently in a building, so I just say I'd like to proceed without GPS here. Now we get to our start job screen. So I have grower farm and field up there in the top um, section. If I'd like to, for record keeping purposes, enter a grower farm and field, I can do so by hitting the pencil and paper. I can also change the job name to something more mean meaningful than the date and time that is listed there. I can also set guidance patterns or load scout groups. At the bottom, or in the middle, we have our uh, product or water, as well as our rate, which is currently set to seven gallons an acre. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more than that, so I'll just change this to 10 and then we'll hit the green play in the bottom right hand corner. I agree to my liability terms and the Viper 4 will load up my run screen. This is the run screen on the Viper 4. Um, the run screen on the Viper 4 is very unique. It is very, it's very customizable. Um, all of these icons or widgets that you see here can be added to the screen, removed from the screen, moved around and placed in different locations. The most common ones we'll use here will be the um, AccuBoom widget right here. You can see the AccuBoom widget with the green play button in the upper right hand corner. Um, that means AccuBoom is enabled and is functioning. And then this is the product control widget. So this is where I can go if I press and hold on that product control widget. I will open up my product box. Um, I can see my rate as well as my rate bump and switch from off, manual, or automatic rate control right there. You'll notice that the icon on the right hand side changed um, to correspond with those off manual or automatic commands. I can back out of my um, box here and now I'm in automatic rate control. So if I were to have speed um, and GPS position, the system would then spray and then my AccuBoom is turned on so my automatic section control would also function. After I've completed my field, I will go back to the home screen um, the home, or home button is in the bottom right hand corner. Select that, I'm able to get into my job summary report. Um, again, for record keeping purposes, I can enter my target past, soil conditions, moisture, as well as weather, um, anything else I'd like in that fashion. To stop and go out of this job back to the home screen, I hit the red stop button down there in the bottom right, and the Viper 4 will load back the main screen. Thanks for watching this overview of Raven's Viper 4 field computer.